Okay, so our second empirical rule uh, example, now we're dealing with English placement exams, um, but we're still, of course, given a mean and a standard deviation. Because remember, the whole point of this section is that the mean and standard deviation can tell us a lot about the distribution without even seeing a picture. We also have a really important keyword that we're going to be seeing throughout this course. We're told these exam scores are normally distributed. So that means we can use the empirical rule um, and we know the 68, 95, 99.7 holds. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a picture because they told us to use the empirical rule. Again, I'll make this short and flat. That way we can just see everything that's going on. Centered at 100 and then three standard deviations out to either side. Doesn't have to be a great drawing. So we'll add standard deviations to the right. We'll subtract standard deviations to the left. And then we'll input those different percentages, the 34, 13.5, oh, that did not look good. The 13.5%, the 2.35%. It's ugly. Ah! <laughs> Terrible things have happened. No. Yeah, whatever. Good enough. And 0 0.1. And I didn't want to do that in red. 0.15%. Uh, and the same thing in the other direction. And you don't necessarily have to write all of these in, especially if you look and see what the question is about. But I'm just getting us a little practice. All right, so our first question here says, students scoring below an 82, so 82, and below, looks like we're interested in this area, must take a remedial English course. What percent of students have to take their remedial English course? Well, exactly the same as the last one. We're just going to take these two percents, add them up. So 0 0.15% plus 2.35% is equal to 2.5%. The exact same chance as an adorable fluffy kitten weighing more than 4.4 pounds. The next question says approximately what percent of placement scores will fall between an 82 and a 109. So we want 82, 109, and then we are interested in between. So that's all of this area, right? So we're just going to take these values and add them up. So 13.5 plus, I'm just going to go ahead and change that to a 68 because I know that that's that middle probability. And this is an 81.5%. And now the last thing I could do is ask sort of the other direction uh, for this type of problem. So if you look at the last question, the top 16% will be placed in honors English. What score must a student get on the te test to be placed in honors English? So now we want a score and we have a percent as opposed to the other questions where we had scores and then we wanted to get a percent, right? So this is working in the other direction. So top 16 tells me this is a student who did really well, right? So you can just sort of guess and check your way to the answer. 127, well, that's only 0.15. That's, that's a really, really tough cutoff, so that's not it. 118, that's these two out of the other, that's 2.5, that's not enough. 109, ah, uh, the 2.5 plus the 13.5, that's going to get us what we want. So 109 is our answer. Um, so that's how you could handle those ones going in the other direction.